Hello, welcome to the Far Wilds. This short tutorial will explain how to get wild. In Far Wilds, you are playing quick battles against another player. Each player has a collection of cards he brings into battle called his army. The object of the game is to gain 20 glory. The person that controls the most flux wells at the end of any round gains 2 glory. When you start a battle, it will look something like this. This is the map of the battlefield. You can hold and drag the right mouse button to move it. Use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Right now you can only see part of the map. This area is still unknown. Your enemy is out here somewhere building his base. Here are the cards in your hand. You are using a Sylvan army. The first thing you will want to do is place a base building. You want to place it next to a flux well. You can see these two flux wells on the map. Simply click the building that you want to place and where on the map you want to place it. The grove is a sylvan based building. This means that you can place sylvan creatures by it. It also gives you one level of sylvan domain. The more domain you have, the more powerful cards you can cast. You can see how much domain you have here on your player's status. Mainly, you gain domain by placing buildings. Now it's your enemy's turn. This glow around the player's status means it is his turn. What the enemy did on his turn shows up inside his player's status. You can see here that he played a graveyard. Now that you have one sylvan domain, you notice there are a few more cards you can play. Let's say you want to play a creature. Here is the elven scout. This is the full card description of the elven scout. This is his casting cost. It takes two flux and level one sylvan domain. You can see his stats at the bottom of the card. He has attack of one, health of one, speed of six, vision of four, and no range. Basically, he is kind of weak but fast, an ideal scout. To play him, just click on the card. Now you can see the spaces on the map where you are allowed to place him. You must place him next to a sylvan based building, in this case around the grove. Now you can see much more of the map. You can see four spaces around the scout since his vision is four. Notice he has revealed another flux well. Creatures start the game dimmed. This means they can't move or attack until the next round. You can tell that he is dim because the circle under him is dimmer and there is a dim icon on his full card. Here you see that the enemy has passed. The far wilds is played in rounds. Players take turns doing actions. When they have done all they can, they click pass. Once both players have passed, the new round starts. You are also done, so we click pass. Now the next round has begun. This means all creatures undim. You gain flux and you get a new card. This pulsating blue circle indicates that your elven scout is undimmed and therefore ready to act. Now we can move him. Simply click on the scout and again the map will change to indicate which spaces he is allowed to move to. Click where you would like him to go. The enemy has attacked us with his hellcat. Our scout took two damage because the hellcat has two attack. Our scout now has negative one health, but we can still use it. Creatures that have less than one health die at the end of the round. This allows them to counterattack before they die. To attack the Hellcat with our scout, click on the scout and then click on the Hellcat. It asks us which direction we want to attack from. In this case, we don't care, so just click on the Hellcat again. Now we pass and the new round starts. The scout has died, so this area that was revealed by him is now hidden to us. Now we would like to place another building to control this flux well. If you place a building outside of your area of control, it first becomes a construction site. This means that it takes four rounds to turn into a completed building. In the meantime, it is vulnerable to attack. You should only place construction sites where you know you can defend. So we place the grove by the flux well. Here it describes how the construction site works. This is how many work tokens the site has left. 
The next round you see that it has one less work token. Let's just pass a few rounds here so you can see the building complete. You can see who controls the flux wells on this bar. Now we control two flux wells while the enemy only controls one. There are still two uncontrolled wells. Since we control more flux wells, we get two glory at the end of every round. Remember the object of the game is to gain 20 glory. So that is the Far Wilds basics. There is a lot more to the game, but maybe you should try playing before I tell you more. See you in the wilds!